I'm someone who comes from England. I've been living in Zimbabwe for 22 years. I'm 50 years old now, so this has really become my home. It's a place that I love so much. Um, in terms of my life, I love God. I've been a Christian since I was 18 years old, so that's 32 years. Uh, I love my family very much. I'm married to Telmore for 19 years. Uh, we have one daughter, Rufara, she's 11 years old. And um, many relatives uh, on my wife's side. So uh, family is important to me. Um, my passion is for radio uh, and for sport. So I'm somebody who loves sport very much. Uh, to be involved in the excitement of watching sports um, and uh, I love radio it's a very exciting medium to share things with listeners that you're passionate okay. about so, um, those are the things that really motivate me that's tea for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you moved to to Zim mm. uh, coming from England uh -huh. and what was the what was the drive behind that? Okay, um, I was a sports broadcaster in England, but I had a chance to come and experience a new country. Um, I was a qualified teacher as well, so I came here as a maths teacher in 1993, uh, when government was still recruiting teachers from abroad. Um, so I taught at Warren Park High School in Harare for three years. Uh, that was a Great experience, <laughs> and and the cultural. Oh wow! The, that was I amazing. Mean, coming yeah. from England, obviously yeah. the climate is different. Yes. And the culture as well, the yeah. language. Yes. And how difficult was that for you? Well, to cope with that. Yeah, it was a learning experience, um, but it's such a wonderful country. People are so friendly here, um, so it every day was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's warmer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. good. So you you can now speak a bit of Shona. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm halfway there, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. So having moved from England and and coming to Zim and, and spending time there, at what point um, in your life and 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 what point in your life did you really felt this was the place for you or at what point you live at, well, God has called me to be, to live here and, uh -huh. and spend my life here. Right. Um, well, after I got married in 1996, uh, was just, uh, that was my last year as a teacher. Um, by then I had no doubt I wanted to stay here if it was possible. Um, so that was, that, that was when it became clear uh, that, that uh, it was possible to stay here. Uh, then I went back into broadcasting. In fact, already in 1995, I'd gone back into broadcasting at the same time that I was teaching um, on ZBC Radio 1, okay. uh, where I got involved in sports. Uh, the first broadcast I did was football commentary with Charles Mabika <laughs> uh, at the National Sports Stadium, Dynamos against Blackpool. Ah. Uh, that was... Remember, we still remember those days. Eh? Yeah, and then after that the All-Africa Games came along, which was memorable. Um, I was the athletics commentator and covered lots of other sports as well. But remember doing commentary on Maria Mutola winning the 800 meters. Yeah. Uh, that was fantastic. Yeah.